Hello, my name is Carl, and in today's video, we'll be covering some of the features found in Fieldwork. For more details, please visit our website at fieldworkhq.com. If you would like to receive an online demo, please reach out to us at info, I-N-F-O, at fieldworkhq.com, or you can give us a call at 1-800-992-6339. To find our help documents from fieldworkhq.com, scroll to the bottom and select the Help Center. And this will take you directly to all of our articles. Simply search for a topic in the search field. In the lower right hand corner is the green circle with the square smiley face. If you click on this, it's just click in the search for help. You'll have a search window and you can search through all of our articles. Let's begin with the dashboard. As an admin user on login, you'll be taken to the dashboard where you can see a snapshot of your financial information as well as operational data. From here, we can see sales, income, status, accounts receivable, missed appointments. And these are widgets and you can drag and drop these around uh, and design this layout any way that you would like to. Again, this is only available to those who have admin access. From the customer tab, you can see all of your customers. They'll be grouped together by their status, active, leads, inactive, and so on. You can also create tags and attach them to your customers, and they'll be grouped together here. You can just select that tag. You'll see the customers associated with that tag. This is also the location where you'll add new customers. Next up, we have the calendar. On the calendar, you can see all of your work orders that are scheduled uh, for any given tech. And in this particular case, we are viewing this technician 1-Northwest for July 1. And if I scroll through here, I can see all of the work that is scheduled on his day today. You can see here I'm on the day view. We can also view week and month. Returning to the day view, over here we also have a filtering options. You can filter by the work order status, work order frequencies, service type, event type, and the mini calendar is also uh, available. With Fieldwork, we also have a work pool where you can move work orders into the work pool and manage uh, a work pool. From the work pool, I can click and hold my mouse and I can drag that work order out on the screen. And if I release, it will schedule that stop. The same applies here. I can click the mouse button, hold this, and I can drag that work order up and down on the schedule and reschedule that. We can also create new work orders from the screen. Select a company. Uh, you can search here, select a company verify that it is on the correct service location and then fill out the work order. On the calendar you can also view the map and this is showing all of the work on this given day. If again if I advance this to week view we can see all of the work for the week or all of the work for the month. I return back to day view. I can click this It'll highlight that work order. Also from the, from the calendar is a routing option. We can click the route icon and the system will optimize that, uh, uh, that day and reorganize it to try to better your drive time. Using the sales tab, you can look at your renewal notices, agreements, estimates, work orders, invoice, payments, statements, and tasks. These here will give you bulk options. Let's take a look at our invoices. We can filter from date to date. So you can utilize these filters to filter what it is that you're actually looking for. And as I mentioned, there are some bulk options here. If we click on all of these, 
We can see where we can email, bulk print, consolidate invoices. If we take a look at our work orders, same thing. We have start end dates. We can select specific customers and many other filters are available here. There are bulk options available here. If I select all of these work order, I can mark complete, mark as scheduled. Um, I can move these work orders to a different technician, take advantage of our price update feature. Uh, we can even send these customers messages. Uh, perhaps uh, uh, maybe you have uh, a rain day or a snow day and you want to capture all of your work orders for a given day and send them a message indicating that you're going to be a delayed start or whatever uh, the situation might be. So again, under the sales tab, you can see your work orders, invoices, payments. You can see what your uh, payments are as well. Our next feature available is marketing. Uh, from the marketing tab, you can create email SMS campaigns or combine the two. Examples might be you have a spring offering you would like to email or text to your customers, you can uh, click on the campaign, enter a title, which customers this will target, which email addresses you have on file. You will be able to um, see the results of your campaign. Maybe it's the like a, as the example I gave, a marketing campaign for a seasonal program or something. You can see who opened it, how many clicked through. You can also create campaigns, marketing campaigns. An example might be you're going to a trade show and you want to track how many customers you had made contact with, how many of those that you sold. When you create a marketing campaign, those are available when you create service agreements and other types of services. Under the reports tab, you can see all of our reports. It's broken down into two primary categories, accounting, and then we can scroll down and we can see operations. So under the accounting tab, you see things as such as gross sales, income, there's tax reports in here, commission reports. All of these reports that you can run, you can save the filter, you can also export these into a printed report, a CSV file, or PDF. The, the CSV file can be imported into a, a spreadsheet where you can then add it into a pivot table and manipulate your data. Scrolling down here to our operations, you know, we can see call lists. You can see your customer list, service uh, appointments. You can print labels. This is where you find your New York chemical reporting and your California uh, materials report as well. You can find additional information on our website. That will be fieldworkhq.com. On our website, we have links for additional features that I didn't cover in the video. Some of the industries that are using our software, and you can also see our pricing page. Uh, we build based on the number of field users that you have. Uh, here are our three programs. And as you slide the green bar, increasing field users, the prices will adjust accordingly. If you're interested in the two week free trial period, just click on the orange button fill out the form and hit the green uh, sign up button and we will get in contact with you and get you an account set up. During the trial period, if you have questions, need assistance, again, you can always reach us, the green circle square smiley face and just type this little text message there. Thank you very much for your time and we hope to hear back from you.